Morning guys, welcome back to the One Hour channel. This one here behind me, 2007 Nissan Note E11 model. Uh, this one's come in because the airbag light's flashing. So uh, we just need to do a quick scan of the car and see what it says. Okay guys, there we go. Airbag light is flashing. Tell us there's a fault. Um, already into the airbag module here. We'll read the codes. So B1049 driver's airbag module. Driver's airbag module is this one here. Um, other thing, I mean you've got the clock spring behind here, uh, which is how the driver's airbag makes contact with the car and these audio buttons just here. Let's put the radio on, make sure these audio buttons are all working. Right. So we've got right, a bit of music playing there. So we can go volume down, volume up, change the track, back down, we can press source, change it to radio, back to CD, all for information, I'm not to do anything. Oh, that works. Right, let's turn this off. The horn works okay, so that's all making contact at the moment. Let's uh, switch the engine off, put the ignition back on. We'll clear this down and see if it comes back. So, if we raise the code, engine off, ignition on. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, it's been erased. Read it again. No codes detected. Okay, so let's uh, start this again. That airbag light should be out now. Yep, it is. Okay, um, so let's turn the steering wheel. Obviously, we're in one position here. It's all the way to the right. Ah, look, there you go. By turning that steering wheel, Airbag light, airbag light is on again. So we've triggered a code, which if um, it comes up with air, uh, driver's airbag module again, then we're going to want a clock spring in this vehicle. There we go, current fault, and it's been a pass fault as well. So in that position there, being as it's current, with this steering, where are we? Turned over to the right slightly that's going to be on a faulty section there of the clock spring. Let's just uh, see if we can prove a point. Switch it off again, put it back on. Escape from there, let's see if we can erase it. My feeling is if we're in a faulty spot then the code's going to come straight back. Successfully erased, read the code again. Yes, current Okay, not a props. Yeah, so uh, the guy's just left this with me for a while, gone for a walk into town. Uh, I'll tell him we, what we need to do on this vehicle, and if we get the go ahead, hopefully we can uh, show you how to change it. Okay, guys, it's been about two weeks um, since I filmed that last bit of um, footage you've just seen. The guy was trying to get a second hand one, uh, couldn't come up with anything, so we're going to have to put a new one in. The, uh, the vehicle's annual MOT test is due so um, in a few days time so we need to get this thing replaced so the airbag light isn't on for that. Um, the part's on its way, the clock swing's on its way, it's all been ordered. First thing we've got to do is just disconnect your battery. Um, you want to disconnect your battery, leave it for at least three minutes before we do anything else. So I'll do that now and then I'll take you inside. Okay, so the battery's been disconnected, it's been at least three minutes. Um, what we need to do, we've got to take off first of all the, uh, the, the airbag uh, module itself and uh, then we've got to take the steering wheel off and then these cowlings to uh, get at the clock spring we need to get at. Um, we do that, get this airbag off on these things plus by, um, we've got these two little, two, one there, plastic covers, there's one on the other side. Then up inside there, when you look up inside you'll see a piece of spring, uh, just a piece of metal. What we need to do is just go up in there and you, you'll feel it just there and you can push that inwards at the same time and that's going to pop this airbag out so I'll get that done now. Oh. 
three pairs of hands here. Push these two in. Hold them in. Come on. Good old knee. Alright. So behind here we've just got our ground contact there for our horn. And we've got our airbag connection just here. Like I was saying, you've got your horn ground wire, this yellow one here, which I've just disconnected there. And then this is your airbag wiring connection. So this grey bit is a lock tab. So what we need to do is come in here, just behind it. Um, instructions say use a flat blade screwdriver with a piece of tape around it. And so pop that in there and lift up that black tab and then that should release this from the airbag module. So we're getting behind it. There we go, that's popped up. And that comes straight out like that wiring out the this little hook like so okay airbag safety you want to be really posh put it in a steel box but whatever you do always place it upwards because in the if the freakiest thing happened and that ever went off that's up into outer space so keep it that way it goes okay with that out the way We've got our nut that we need to undo. I'll show you the size of that in the moment. And then we've got the wiring here from the uh, steering wheel uh, panel, control panel. So press the tab and it should come out. Should. There we go. Great, so I'll get this undone and then we can release the steering wheel. Um, it does say we've got to use a puller to get this off, but we'll try the uh, good old fashioned technique first of all. Right, what I'm gonna do here is just make a little mark with some correctional fluid on the spindle, the top and on the nut. So we get a good idea when we're coming back up to the right tightening torque. We've got a, uh, that's when we're doing it back up obviously, we've got a 19 mil socket there, put that on there, there we go, that's loose, I want to keep that steering wheel straight, just clip it onto the lock, right, yes, so I wanted to keep that steering wheel straight so the clock spring is in its uh, straight neutral position, my wheels are straight. Okay, we'll get that off. Steering wheels won't just come off. Um, good old fashioned method that we used to use. Give them a whack like this and a whack like that. Generally releases them on the splines and they'll come off. So just leave the nut on a few threads, we'll try it. Just like that. Spot on. No puller required. Pop that there. I'll put a little mark, lining up with my white mark here in the column. There is actually a centre dot there, so I'll just put it just there. I've taken the nut off here, and that's the mark I made. And then I put another white mark and you might be able to see there is a centre dot just above that white mark. Okay, now we'll take the steering wheel off. Okay, so we'll take the steering wheel off and just feed that wire through for the airbag. Good, so we are left with our block spring. You'll notice this pin just here is in the 12 o'clock position. The plug is down here, say the 7 o'clock position. Right, now for the cowling, it's got to come off. Um, steering wheel, just pull the lever, lower that down. Phillips screws. This piece here just pulls off. Okay, 
So that's the two screws out of there. There's one further back here. I need a longer screwdriver. I've got a long Phillips, but a long flat one will do it. That's it. That's that one out as well. Now these are hooked on down the bottom here. That's it. Got a little retainer just there. The top one will come off. The third screw we was undoing at the back, you need the long screwdriver is going just there. Right, so our new parts arrived from Nissan. There's the part number there, peeps, if you need it. And this is what you get for your dough. One clock spring, that's the connector we disconnected. We've got this piece on here, which is like a lock, because this is set central from the factory. Um, if you're taking one off and playing with it yourself, uh, you've got to count the amount of turns, you've got to get it central because that's like a ribbon inside of here and if you get it wrong and then put it on a full lock you can snap that ribbon. So we know that's locked from, from factory uh, central. Um, and what we've got as well, we've got these connections just here and here. So this is for your uh, lighting stalk and your wiper stalk. Now these just slot out of this one. And what we do, we disconnect the plug on the top, press the tab down, disconnect your plug and then you've got two plastic tabs, one there and one there. And this will just slide out of this clock spring. Yeah, so what we've got, we've got one connector. I thought there's probably one there and one there, there's not. There's one there and the power obviously comes through these terminals that are inside the clock spring um, for the wiper stalk. So we just need to press this little tab down here and get this off and slide it back. So I'll just put you down while I do that. So that's disconnected and you've got two white tabs there and there. Press that and that comes out, it locates here into this uh, male connection just there and you've got your female connection just there. So that's that one. And we do the same to get this one out. As I say, there's no connector, so that just comes out like that. So looking at it now, the next step we've got two Phillips screws, one here, one here. So then we've got an electrical connector under here. There's two actually, one's grey, one's yellow. Yellow bead for the airbag. Again, press the tab in. These are really quite stiff actually. Press the tab in and pull that one out. And a bit that one. There you go. And there's your two locked together. Like that. Right, Phillips screws. Should be able to pull that, pull that off there. Press the little tab in at the back, that releases it. There we are guys, it's off. Right, so we get our new one. Leave that locking device on there for the time being. The screws come with it, the two screws, they don't come out of the hole there. And that'll go on there, locating the top bracket. And we can do our screws up. Right, so we've got to put this connector back at the bottom just here. Um, it seems tricky to get in on its own. These two, the yellow bit and the grey bit, actually lock together. So if you disconnect the yellow one first, that will pop in there, and then off the grey one up, and the grey one will slide into the yellow one and into the connector as well, like that, quite a tight fit, but that's all in, uh, now we just need to put our stalks back in, making sure we align 
like that, although they just go down a little, uh, little guide. put the connector back in the top. So next is put that top bit on. Put that bottom bit back on. together, screws back in. That's it. There we go. That's it. Not going anywhere. Put a bit of trim back on. We've still got our locking device on here which we're okay to take off now. So what you do, you just squeeze that and take it off. And this bit then is free to move. So we'll put that wiring back through. Get the pin lined. Take that out, because that's what's on it. Get the pin aligned with the hole in the steering wheel, if you can see, just there. Same time, keeping the steering wheel aligned with the splines and the So we've got those white marks in the centre dot all aligned as they should be. Just spin our nut back down. While I'm here, put that connector back in. Like that. So that one's for the horn, that wants to go back on the airbag. Put the steering wheel down now. your factory spec. That's it. That's exactly how I took it off. I know that's exactly the same position because the white line on the nut that I put is the same as the column. So next for the airbag module itself, make sure that this lock tab is, is out and you have to take it off. And it goes So, that way round, push it in and then push your lock tag down, lock it in place, get your cable, feed the cable underneath this little hook, which is down just above the horn contact. And then, final thing there, horn terminal on. Like so, and we've just got to align it and the spring that we're pushing out the way is just going to be going out those little hooks there on the airbag. There we 
go. Okay, that's it. We'll reconnect the battery. Uh, clear the codes down and make sure everything's okay. Right, let's get a bit of dissection action on. Take this off, let's have a look inside it. Yeah. There we go. In the interest of science. There we go. In the interest of science. There's a bit of the ribbon just there. So, whoops. There inside, ladies and gents, is our ribbon. Our clock spring, which obviously is round round and round and these constantly constantly move these things so with their constant movement all these little lines in this track if you can see each pin like that you see can you see each pin goes down a little track down this ribbon. And that's it. So somewhere along there is a bad bit. Right guys, it's a few days later. Um, I was doing the edit on the video and I thought I didn't really uh, show that properly when I was showing the break in the uh, track on the ribbon. So I just luckily I haven't emptied the rubbish bin so I've just dug it back out and it's all the crap all over it now. But um, what I've done is I've got this uh, green wire connected on one of the pins here I think it's the brown wire for the for the ABS plug for the actual um, airbag module plug you've got two wires here there's a a brown and a red uh, I think I'm connected on the brown am I? So that sounded good didn't it? that was a truck behind me uh, right so yeah I'm connected on the brown that should be giving us some continuity and you'll see here that when I move it around, that position there, it's good. So we're making contact. If I move the ribbon, like the, look when the steering wheel is being turned, boom, gone. There, gone. There, gone. You see? So it was the track for the brown wire in this ribbon that's broken. It's making and, and breaking as the steering wheel is being turned. Um, the other pin for the red wire I believe was this one here and yeah and in whatever position there you can see we're, we're good there you see nothing's happening. Let's go back to that brown straight away look We're all over the shop. There you go. And as we speak, we've had a little robin just fly into the workshop. Where have you gone, little fella? There he goes. Oi, out! Out! He's gone. There we go then guys, that's how we got rid of the airbag light on this Nissan Note E11 2007. Um, just a straightforward plug and play this one, no coding or anything needed like some of the later ones do. Um, I've had a word with the customer, they've got the radio code so they're going to stick that in, they've done it before, they know how to do it so that's all good. Uh, we had a little bit of bonus footage there of just tearing that clock spring apart and looking inside it so hope that was of use to, use to you hope the video was of use to you uh, if it was give us a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please do so do so do so do so and don't forget connect to me on facebook twitter google plus thanks for watching